this is the reality of a fringe <laughs> that I haven't sorted out yet. This is what the fringe actually looks like most of the time. But I literally wasn't planning on starting my vlog yet and then I put on this new mascara and I was like, oh my God, I need to tell you about it right now. Hi, have you come to hear about the new mascara too? Hi, cute angel, cute angel, hi cutie. I don't think this is a new mascara at all, but I literally just finished my mascara and I picked this up. It's the Eccentrico by Armani. Look at my lashes. Normally I mix a few different mascaras or I'll use my Dior primer or like I'll, I don't know, I'll just like switch it up and do something different. This is just this. This is literally me in a mascara. I like thick, I like voluminous, I like lengthy. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm literally obsessed. I'm trying out this new bronzer from La Mer and I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful bronzer. I can't remember if I've told you about this yet on camera, but it is a really beautiful warm toned, warm toned bronzer. <laughs> Sorry, this fringe just looks horrendous until I've sorted it out. I don't know what to do with it. By the way, pro of having a fringe is I literally haven't done anything with my eyebrows in weeks. I have a really good budget buy to tell you about. Miss Sporty Insta Glow Blush is amazing it's so good and i think it's like one pound or two pounds fifty this is the color luminous beige it is so good and the color's just really natural love it i am now using my huda beauty 3d highlighter palette i am so obsessed with this look at that oh my god it's the best cream highlight i literally apply it with one finger blend it with another and then get rid of that hair that's on my face from the brush oh it is such a good highlighter. And then I put the powder on top of the cream. This is another really good budget buy. This MUA brush, it's number F11. So good for highlighter. And I think this is around a couple of pounds as well. Wow. This highlighter blows me away. <laughs> Stick of the day, Armani Lip Magnet in 506. I feel like I keep banging on about the same lip shades, but <laughs> this is honestly one of my go-tos. Go on. <laughs> that was, it's such a good one. Currently deciding if this headband is too much or not. What do you think? I think it's a bit much but I love it. I just bought it. So if they still have it in stock, I'll link it down below because I know you guys like my headband <laughs> choices. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and show you my outfit of the day. And for once, I'm not in over the knee boots. I'm switching it up. <laughs> this is as switched up as it gets. I'm literally wearing these boots. I've had these for years and I love them. They're such great boots. Then I'm wearing my favorite coat, which I love. And I think it picks up really nicely with the purple tones running through the dress. But I literally cannot stop wearing this coat. It's probably one of two of my favorite winter coats right now. This one and the camel one. I love it so much and I can't stop wearing it. And I'm also wearing my Chloe Nile bag and actually my dress right now is on sale so I'm gonna show you. This is probably my favorite style of dress because I find it so flattering. I think it like elongates your body. You can pull it down if you want to at the sides or you could kind of ruffle it up a little bit more if you wanted to which is how I normally wear it so it kind of looks like a top tucked into a skirt and I love the autumnal colors of this. I think the colors are really what makes the dress. I have quite a few similar dresses in the shape like I know the shape just really really works for me but this one you can actually have low cut if you wanted to or you can do up the strings like that and have it as more of a round neck if you wanted to as well it's on sale at the moment so I will link it down below I think it's like 20% off or something and I'm really really happy with this purchase and then last I have just put on my really cute pebble necklace from Monica Vinita because actually I'm going to tell you why in the car because it's outside and I need to go what was I going to tell you oh yeah the reason I changed my necklace to something Monica Vinita because I'm actually going to check out their store in Covent Garden. I've been to their store in Duke of York Square, but not the Covent Garden one. And I'm excited to see all their new pieces. We're working on a collaboration, which we just shot for my Instagram. And now I'm gonna use this <laughs> opportunity to do some jewelry shopping. <laughs> 
I've literally only been in the Monica Vinci store for 10 seconds and I'm already like, can I try this on? Can I try that on? You know, I have this Reba ring and then this is the new one and that's what I want to try on because it looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So how are we going? It's from yeah. small to large. Okay? Small to large. Okay. Oh, and I also have the I one, which I love. Do you know what size you are? I actually don't. Okay, that's fine. Let's have a go. Um, try and then. Okay, I have quite chubby fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which finger that one? Yeah. Yes. Oh wow, that's amazing! You got that first go. <laughs> You're a pro. And M's okay. quite a standard size. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So that's the normal size so that I have. That's the normal have. size. Yeah. That's one that you probably. And have. then this is the and big one and the, the mini one. Yeah, so oh my gosh, out, that's stunning! Tight. I've now added these rings, and I think I'm just going to walk out the store right now. And look how beautiful <laughs> this one is. The triple wave. So beautiful. I think this is my favorite so far. I'm now trying another few rings on. I literally think I'm just gonna end up looking like Phoebe from Friends and have like every ring on every different finger. I love that stack, that looks so gorgeous. We are now looking at the signature collection and I have one of the rose gold bangles but they've recently introduced matching rings as well which are all here, come to me. Let's get a smaller size as well. Oh wow, and, and then, then it just looks like one. Thing. Oh, that's so fun. So you can basically like customize yeah, so it to you, customize whatever it, which you one you want. Sort of finishes as well. That is really pretty. I love the rose gold. This is matching stacking goals. The bracelet, the midi ring, the actual ring. I love, I love this look. <laughs> More things to play with. Oh la la. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I haven't seen this one before. Done it. I love it, it's like stars in the sky. Yes, it's got white tape pads on it. so nice. I am now wearing this amazing, do you call it a necklace stack? A pendant a stack. A pendant stack. And look at these three, look at that pink. That pink is literally me in a stone. I love it so much. And then I have three, well actually technically four rings on, which I absolutely love. What stone is this? That's an amazonite. A amazonite stone, which is so stunning. I've stacked <laughs> up three rings here as well. Probably wouldn't wear these all together, but I'm trying on jewelry, so <laughs> why not, you know? Thank you so much, thank you. I am walking out of the Monica Vinita store now. That was so fun. Honestly, I could try on jewelry every day, forever it's like that is oh, i love it i love it so much i am back at home do you want to see what i got from monica vinda yep <laughs> okay i'm going to show you my rings because i'm really happy with the stack i picked out and i think it is so me so in here is my gorgeous purple <laughs> again my gorgeous purple and rose gold box and that is my ring stack that i chose it's three different rings so obviously you can wear them separately i have one of the evil eye ones so i feel like i could also switch it up and do it on that stack as well i got a size m which basically would fit my index finger and my middle finger but i just think it's so beautiful and the colors are just so beautiful the pink is gonna make me so happy i love it i think it is one of my favorite favorite ring stacks and i love the rose gold as well you know when you get something new and you find it like so special that you kind of want to like keep it in the box for like a tiny little bit i just want to keep it in the box for like a day and then admire it and then get ready to wear it do you know what i mean i think i'm probably the only one that does that but i just want to like keep it special first i thought i would also tell you about this week's giveaway which is for this rebecca minkoff bag this is the mini sophia crossbody bag it's navy which i think is such a beautiful color for autumn and winter and also love the tassels i love that there's just not one tassel there's like loads of tassels and then it has a crossbody strap and a little handle as well but i'm not gonna unwrap those so if you want to win this bag it's open internationally anyone can enter make sure you're following me on instagram and like my latest picture which is this one on the screen and comment down below using the hashtag amelia liana vlogs as always i will pick the winner next week and it will be announced on my insta stories good evening well it's actually not even evening yet it's 3 p.m but it's already dark outside so i feel like it's evening it's like 3 30. hi there what are you doing cute angel anyway i am just finishing off my makeup i just put on this lipstick which is the charlotte tilbury matte in showgirl which i really like i think the color is so nice i still think i prefer the anastasia beverly hills formula to these but the shade range of these are much better like they have so many other different nudes 
I'm just gonna put on a little bit of powder. This is the YSL All Hours Powder. I've had my makeup on for quite a while today, so I just wanna mattify a little bit more. But anyway, this afternoon, evening, it was gonna be so fun because my mum's coming over in literally like 10 minutes. She's coming a bit before four. And then at four, we are having a demo for Thermomix. And I don't know how to describe the Thermomix, except I need to look up how they actually describe it online. But the way it's been described to me by my friends who have them is basically it's a machine that does everything and it totally like takes over any blender any machine that you have in your kitchen basically it can steam stuff it can chop stuff it can blend stuff like it apparently just does everything and it tells you what to do so it's basically like a cooking machine for dummies and I'm so excited about it because apparently you can make your own ice cream and you can make your own bread and everything so I'm very very excited oh I will show you now my outfit of the day super cozy casual vibes today in this striped autumnal jumper dress which I actually really like it's just so easy to throw on and I really like the cool autumnal colors I showed this in a recent video and then my Stuart Wiseman over there. <laughs> hi <laughs> hello hi there yeah my Stuart Wiseman over the knee boots Duke is always so curious when we do these outfit of the days isn't he <laughs> so basically I'm just waiting for my mum and someone from Thermomix to come over so I'm just gonna be on my laptop until they come around and um, me and my mum are going to have dinner together afterwards as well. My mum has just got here. Hello. And we're about to have a Thermomix demo. We've just taken this out of the box and it's like all new and pretty. And we are about to start making cupcakes and basically your entire life. How many machines does this take place of? 15? 15 machines. It does 15 different things that 15 other machines do in this machine that's literally smaller than my microwave. So here are our scales. It basically weighs everything for you. So I'm going to do 75 grams. So now we do 7 seconds. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So then we do speed 10 all the way up. This is 10 seconds to ground my almonds. I've just added in some coconut flour and some salt. I'm gonna put my lid back on. I already feel like a pro. And now we're gonna do five seconds. This is how long it takes to blend everything. Speed three. In 15 seconds, it's literally blended everything. We are about to now make sorbet. I'm adding some frozen berries into here. This is the craziest tip. The next thing on our list after the berries is lime or lemon juice. So basically what this does, squeezing on top of here, is it lets the juice of the lemon go in to the mixing bowl, but not the pips. The pips stay here, which is insane we are blending up our sorbet this is so exciting this sorbet looks amazing <laughs> yay this is so exciting i'm going in mm, it's so yummy <laughs> it's sour do you want it's a bit so of sugar nice. going in no but let's try the egg white i want yeah, to do yeah, the yeah. italian egg white version yeah. this is the before we added some egg white and this is the after. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh, we have to try this. I literally went from that to that in a minute. What do you think? I actually, it's moose. Which one do you prefer? Well, I love sorbet. So I prefer the original form, but this is really nice because if you want to it's add- lighter. It's lighter. If you want to add a bit of mousse on top of a cake or something, yeah. it, it's perfect And it's literally that. just egg whites, yeah. frozen berries. Yeah. And that's it. No, and not even any juice. sugar. And no sugar. Not, no sugar. Cool. It's perfect. <laughs> We've done the cupcakes, we've done the cake, well the bread. I've already eaten all the sorbet. <laughs> and the rest, the more moussey texture one, is in my freezer. And now we're gonna do some salmon because apparently the Thermomix can steam salmon as well, which is like, this is just, it's crazy. We are about to fish steam some in fish. So in now here, we, we have the dressing. Can you see that? Under here we have the fish. And in here we have the veggies. We have also just added a layer of quinoa in here because it's gonna add to the whole concoction. We have four layers now.
we are getting ready and sitting down for dinner now, Mama and I. We've even left the washing up because we're just dying to eat the food. Are you gonna have the sauce or no? This was our sauce that we, we had. Should we try the sauce first? Let's see if we like it. Yeah, do you wanna try? See if it's nice. It might be too sweet for you because it does have honey in it. Mm. It's lighting. It's actually really nice, but it is too sweet for me. Yeah. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I, I like, like the sweet sauces. Yeah. I'll try it. And you've just been looking at the um, Thermomix cookbook, haven't you? And there's also quinoa, by the way, which we have as well. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna pour my little uh, sauce guy. Woohoo! <laughs> I love this cow. He's so fun. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, oh, oh. Stop dribbling. Okay, there we go. You wanna take a bite? Stop. Yeah. And then we can try the bread afterwards. Oh, we can I have that mousse! Should we try yes. the bread now? Okay, hold on, let me get it. One sec. Let's get the bread. This is our bread. Let me grab this tray. That is so nice. I know. Should we try a bit from the inside yeah. first? Yeah. I feel like that would be a better idea. It actually looks so nice. Yeah. So this is a paleo bread that we made. What do you say? Mm. Quite coconutty. Yeah. It has a good texture as well. Normally yeah. I find gluten free breads have a really hard texture. Yeah. But this is really nice, I think, because the Thermomix blended it so well. I don't normally like steamed salmon, but I wanted to try this because I thought it would be amazing to see how the Thermomix makes salmon, vegetables, quinoa, and a sauce at the same time. So I'm super excited for this because I feel like the dressing is just going to make it. Mmm. It's so good. The dressing is amazing. And apparently you can make rice at the same time. Everyone's asking when you're going to do a rice tutorial. Mm. <laughs> Should we do that soon? Yeah, maybe yeah. in Vlogmas. Yeah, let's do that. It's a proper shindig, isn't it? Well, actually, it's really not. It's not easy anything. It just depends if you want to do it plain or you want to put other things in it. But yeah. it's, it's really not a shindig. <laughs> not but a shindig, you had it first. It's a staple, so it's nice to have it where, you know, whatever. Yeah. And you can keep it in the fridge. You can bring it out and warm it up and have it with, you know, your salmon or chicken or whatever. It's so easy. Dinner is done. We are full. The counter is clean. That's stuff I took from my mum's that I'm giving back to my mum. What did you think? I what was your incredible. verdict? It's so cool, isn't it? I think it's, it's And really by the way, if you want to have a Thermomix demo, they're free. So I'll leave the information down below because they are free. You don't need to buy a machine to do them. Although I warn you, you will definitely want to buy one, right? I think, you know, when you think about all the things that you can make. Hold on, Duke wants to come up. Yeah. Come on then. Yeah, you can literally make so much stuff and our meal tonight took no time, literally nothing. The muffins were fantastic. The muffins were so yeah. good. They were probably actually the muffins and the mousse sorbet. Should I have some mousse? Yeah. Let me get some dessert. Let's get it out. Getting a spoon. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just really exciting and I'm definitely in a food rut at the moment. So I'm like excited to get myself out of that, out of the rut. Now I'm having my dessert. No, none for you, Duke. Oh, no, he doesn't even care. I'm sure Actually, when you think about it, you've got like three course meal. In 15 in minutes. In 15 minutes. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible. Mm. And even if you don't have time, you can make it the night before. Like make one of the, let's say make dessert or something. like. Before. Yeah, like the salmon or whatever. And, and then, then have it the next day. And then you can feed like four or six people at a time. Hello, mister. Duke's like over it. He's like, I just want love and Hello, hugs. <laughs> now you're covered in Duke hair. Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> Talk us through your outfit of the day. This is one of my new purchases from Kupo's. Yeah. I really love this top. <laughs> My mom is like literally vlogger of the hour. Okay, where are your pants from? From Helmet Lang. And what about your shoes? Uh, my shoes, my boots actually. Oh, your booties. Are so from cute. Isabel Moran. And what about your bag? Uh, my bag You're but such a bag is, thief. I love this bag actually. I know, it's such a good it's bag. My little Celine. It's so, and you have the, the clip, the token, just in case. the clip on bag. Exactly. <laughs> in case I, I need it. How many beauty products do you have in your bag? I, you only have one? I only I don't have, believe you. no, I have two lip glosses. Okay. What's this? I've never seen this one. And, and this is by Terry. What, what is this? Actually? It's a Rouge Expert oh, yeah. click stick. This, this is, is the one I stole from you. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Let's see. Is it nice? Yeah. Put it on. So you click, you do the clicking. Duke's so curious. Okay. Look at him. Let's see. 
How is that? That's you like really the color? nice. Yeah. That's a really nice color on you. I'm not used to seeing you in something so dark though. And I love by Terry. Yeah, we love by Terry. Um, Look at you. <laughs> this is yeah. actually one of the a la carte ones. It's yeah. a little bit on the red side. Yeah, that's not really your color. But it's, it's not really, no, I think I was wearing a red dress. Oh, so you put that on. I put it in there and it stayed in there. And because then this is, is your all time fave. You guys have seen this in the last one. Yeah. yeah, I like that by Terry on you though. It's really nice. Yeah, because it's not red and it's not pink. Yeah. What do you think of my fringe? Shall I keep it or no? Do you know what? Your fringe has actually grown on me. Yeah. And sometimes I see you and I think, oh my gosh, the fringe looks so nice on you. And other times I think, mm. <laughs> So what, should I keep it or not? I think it depends on how I style it yeah. that day. But yeah. someone actually left me an amazing comment and they said rewash your fringe every day. Oh, and what? since I've done that, I found it so much oh, easier. Really? Yeah, so well, thank I you. I think if actually if you have one of those rolling um, No, but that's too brushes. thick. You need a thin brush. Oh. I've done the experimentation. The other day I had like a woo, and that was because I used a thick brush. Oh, right. But yeah, yeah, that's what you use because yeah. everyone asks about your volume. Yeah, I know. Actually, I swear by it's it. It's like a Nikki Clark one. It is. It? Yeah. It's a Nikki Clark one and I can get all kinds of volume into into the top of my hair and then right here on the side either bring it in or flick it flick out, it out. it's really easy yeah. yeah but i think your fringe grows quite quickly oh my gosh it's, i cut the other day i know and it's already and so long it's already... it grows so fast what about if you kind of like separated it a bit so I that know. you have because it just looks a bit weird like yeah, that doesn't it, does. it? it looks yeah, so strange it does. It, does. No? it does yeah it needs to be like a bitty yeah. at the front so yeah, I'm figuring this out. Yeah. But I want them to grow longer, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think, you know, by a couple of months, you'll probably be quite tired of having to. I, I know, because especially when it's every raining day. every day, yeah. and so you have to restyle your fringe. It's a yeah. good extra hour in my, I've cut into my day, like restyling my fringe Who and styling it. Who has the time it. for that? Who has it? Apparently me, no. apparently me. No. I am just about to go into bed, but I wanted to end the vlog before I do. So thank you so much for watching. I have another the video coming your way on Monday which is gonna be oh my gosh it's gonna be a huge unboxing of stuff so yeah make sure you stay tuned for that and I will see you then Mwah. bye guys